Hello shooters, my name is James Toll and this is Stop the Threat. In this series we reach out to the headlines around the country and reenact some of the most heinous crimes committed in our cities and towns. Having a plan and basic training can prevent you from being the next victim. On today's episode we will reenact a crime we read about all too often. A female jogger has left the public area and has become vulnerable to assault by a would-be rapist. With a panel of experts, we will analyze the incident and offer you real suggestions on how not to become a victim. Hello, shooters. Susanna Hupp joins our panel today. She is the author of a new book on the tragedy she experienced in 1991. Also joining the panel today, Josh Duhon, instructor and class coordinator of Texas Pistol and Rifle Academy, servicing civilian shooters. And Mark Walters, who co-authored with Kathy Jackson a book entitled Lessons from Armed America, is also better known as the king of armed American radio. Okay, Susanna, we're going to start with you. What's the first couple of things that you may have noticed there? Creepy. Creepy. That's the first thing that comes to mind. <laughs> right off the bat, I look at her. She's out there by herself right. in a fairly deserted area, right. and she's got her earphones well, on. Well, she, she was can't... on a path. She was on a path, and that was yeah. where she should have remained. Somebody who's operating in an environment in what we would call awareness level white which is they're completely oblivious to their surroundings yeah. and what's going on. This woman doesn't have the use of her hands. If she had had the use of her hands, she could have gone to a delivery system or a response. You've all got the time. to be yeah. aware of your surroundings. Well, I think preparation, avoidance, thing. and awareness techniques are what you're talking about yeah. here. And Josh brought up a number of good points, as did you. But start off at the beginning of the tape. When she's walking or, or jogging through the park, the first thing that you'll notice is that her eyes are buried on the device. It's yeah. not just that her hands aren't free. It's that her eyes are buried on the device. She's okay, well, <laughs> again, I want to thank you all for being here. I'll see you next time. Be safe, be trained, and be alert.